Now I don't need to say pretty deck with another deck review. I'm always finding decks to review that apparently I've done before at some point in time, but I can't find it anymore. This is one of them. You see Stolen Cards deck from Lenard Green, who's a pretty well known magician. I'm not going to go over the trip or tutorial. Um, I've done that before. You can find it. Stolen Cards. The tuck case itself is the same as his other deck, the Lenard Green deck, which you can find on my channel. That one was produced by, I think it was Gemico. Um, and it's just a, it's basically, it's a bunch of pips, numbers, and letters that make up an image of his face. I think it's pretty creative. It says stone cards across the top. I didn't steal them. <laughs> um, the side says poker size, or like green playing cards. Same with the other side. Top. There's illustration by Ken Knowlton, designed by Design Zone. I don't know if that's true for this deck, I don't think so. And the bottom it says limited edition, it says number one of as many as we can print. How many it is. The back is the same as the front. Basically, I think they just copied the art off the other deck and put stolen cross across it. Uh, stolen cards across it, I should say. No seal or anything. Stolen cards is basically a deck, a trick that involves all the cards being the same. <laughs> Except for, in this case, there's two sixes of spades, two sixes of clubs. The rest are three of hearts. And they're all from different decks except for the six of spades and six of clubs. That's what we'll get into. So, what cards do we have? Well, as you might have seen, we got Black Casino Royale deck card here. And the Red Casino Royale. And those are the two that are duplicated at the bottom of the deck as well for the effect. The rest of the cards are all random cards from random decks. Let's have a look at them. First of all, one of my favorites, Red Circleback Tallyhole. We got Blue Magic Castle deck. This is the non-USPC version it would be because it's before that one was printed, I believe. Actually, it's different as well, so it's the not USB-C version. Here we got the uh, Tragic Royalty, pretty cool deck. This one is it's a kind of army deck. It says Department of the Army, United States of America. Here's your pips, Private First Class, kind of interesting. Don't have that one. This is the Blades Edition deck. Um, I'm guessing white. Something. Here we got a blue tally hole fan back. This is a titanium bicycle blue deck. Or whatever they call it. Just a blue uh, diamond back B. Here we got red uh, B stinger. A aristocrat casino back in red. Limited edition series. Number two, Bicycle Limited Edition Series. Here's a blue tally hole circle back. Bicycle Guardians. Bicycle Raider, White Raider. I like those decks, very nice. Here we got an Orange County Chopper's deck. I don't know if it's USB-C or not. Probably, because I know they do have those. This is one that I actually have. The Fitzgerald's Casino deck. This is from Jamaco. Jamaco, Jamaco, how do you pronounce it? <laughs> Here we got a lavender bicycle, I think it is. One of those special colored waggerbacks. Hoyle cell back in blue, I like those, they're very nice. B Smith back in blue. Red diamond back B. This is apparently from the Sands Casino, it says the Sands. And one dollar. It's a little slot in the scene. It's pretty cool. And the other side you get information. Hmm. Casting a paycheck for coins at the Bank of Nevada. Huh. Pretty interesting. 1955 it says. Here you got a green dandy smoking mirrors. 
first edition. I'm pretty sure. We also got one of the white smoke and mirror decks. Um, I don't think it's the first edition. I think it's the third edition, but I'm not 100 percent sure. Off the top of my head. Maybe it's the second edition, I don't know. I doubt it though, because those are harder to find. World Series of Poker in red. We got one of my favorites, the Sentinels. Um, we got the Smith back in green. Or, um, sorry, that's the acorn back. Green acorn back. Second edition, because it's got the three acorns in the center. The blue rider back. We got that, whatever it is. Apparently it's a baseball team. And it's got Zuck, so whoever he is. Ah, sorry, maybe it's not baseball, that's soccer. I don't know what team that is, though. We've got a uh, angle in back and black, sorry, not back. <laughs> it's a black back. There you go. An angle. Red artifice. Pretty cool. Red cell back. Well, we've got one of the Lee Asser um, Fourniers in brown, 615s. 615 four years. We got one of um, Leonard Green's own cards. It has the same image as the top case. We've got Sturgeon's Casino Restaurant Inn in Love Lock, Nevada. Again, looks like it's a Mako. Blue Aviator or Mohawk Jumbo Decks. Carnival or Iusian, or however you pronounce that. The Big Blind Media. We've got one that I'm actually wouldn't mind getting, the Luis de Matos Enigma deck, but apparently they're hard to find. Um, don't know if it's USB C or not. Could be. Blue D5 Smoke and Mirror. A 125th anniversary deck. Red. Coca Cola deck. That version. Red Tally Ho Fan deck. A red titanium bicycle. Welcome to Las Vegas deck, which is a uh, non USBC and it's got no silver slipper casino. Silver slipper casino, I apologize. And I wouldn't mind getting a deck from that casino, but they're very expensive. Red aviator or caravan or whatever. Here we got a Arco in red. Harley Davidson. Oh, and I lost it. Uh, deck one. It doesn't matter if it's first or second edition, I guess. Hollywood Park Casino again. Identical. Bicycle Triple X Outlaws. Um, here is the 125th anniversary in blue. And in the two Casino Royales. In black and red, which are called a Monday. That's basically what you get. It's it's mainly produced for a trick, but it is a nice way to get cards from a bunch of decks that you don't own or might never own. Um, obviously, it's not made for Forest, you know, Fanny. And when you have decks that are from, you know, all these different companies like USBC and Zamaco and Corner Monday and other companies. The finishes are different, the stocks are different, so they're not going to handle as well, but that's not what they're for. It's a pretty cool deck nonetheless, I'm not going to bother rating it for anything. Um, might be a little bit hard to find, but you might be able to find it at Magic Sub still. That's that. Make sure you check out collectiblepointcards.com, use the code BJSA32 for 10% off your order. I will see you next time, thanks for watching.